What's going on everybody? Hey, Dan here with uh, Rimrite. Uh, normally we show you powder coating videos, but today we're going to actually show you how we do wheels. So on this one we've got some pretty significant damage that we're going to go ahead and repair. And like I always say in all my videos, it's super noisy in here, so just bear with me. All right, we're kind of set up in here. My shop kind of goofy. Um, usually we do this in a mobile trailer situation, but we do have all the tools in here, so I'm just going to do them inside. We've got a bin like this that we use to store all of our different sandpapers from 80 all the way up through 5,000. Um, something this bad, we're going to start with an 80 grit sandpaper and start working the damage out. Now these are two-tone wheels. They're a machine with a dark metallic graphite gray type color on the inside. Um, for what this customer wants, we're not going to be touching any of that even though the cut gets in there. So we're just going to redo the, the lip. radius on the edge there so we wanted to make sure we put that back in there too. You can see where the uh, hard line is now where the uh, CNC marks are and the clear coat is there. Um, with the paint we're going to use kind of a hyper or a, it's called hyper silver but it's a special effect paint that will kind of mimic that shine so when it's back on the car and the customer's looking at it they won't even notice. Uh, we got one more little mark up here, then we've got two other wheels that we're going to sand out and um, then we'll catch back up with the video for the, the next step. So this is all 80 grit and then we're going to work our way up through uh, probably four or 500 grit. Alright, so now we're just going to go ahead and start and go through. We're going to go up uh, to 180 and as you work through these sandpaper grits you just want to make sure you're getting out all the scratches left behind from the prior um, grade. And I like to blow off the wheel, clean it up after every grit. sandpaper clean it up so we went to 180 typically we'll go to 220 next uh, we're out of that in the shop so I'm gonna go to 320 just make sure that you again get all those prior scratches from the last grid out we also feather the damage out a little bit as we go 
these two spots will actually be connected by the time we're done. We'll do 400. So that's it for the damage part of it. We are going to take an 800 and just do the polish part real quick and shine it up a little bit. Um, because it's a machine wheel, it's really shiny, so we want to help our paint situation and shine up that, that bare metal now. All right, so that's it for the uh, sanding portion. Come back now with uh, purple power and clean it up. I did forget to mention that before I started the video, we actually did clean it with purple power. Uh, you don't want to sand into a dirty wheel. As it'll just grind those, that grease and oil and all that dirt into it. These are off uh, Infinity, so they've got the big stupid brakes on them, which um, you could wash them 40 times and you're still going to be getting grease and brake dust and other contaminants off, but we do our best. Not to mention, you know, it's a nice car so the customer likes to shine up the wheels. And that silicone is horrendous when you're trying to paint a wheel, so keep that in mind that you're cleaning it really, really well before you go to paint. Um, and then we switch our paper towel a lot. Rotate it through. When you fold it into force, it gives you a lot more working area. So we'll get this wheel clean and then we'll get into the scuffing part. So when you got it pretty clean, you're going to want to scuff it for the overspray and for adhesion. For this part, we're going to use a gray scotch Bright from 3M. And we're going to focus up and around the area of the repair within an inch or two. So it starts here, it ends here. So we're going to work up a little bit, in a little bit, around the whole wheel, and then up a little bit, in a little bit for our paint area. Um, we're not doing a full clear coat on the wheel. If you were doing a 100% restoration and they were paying for that, you definitely would want to do that and you would scuff the entire wheel. We are just going to blend and burn the clear in over the body lines where we have these sharp, sharp lines. So we like to get on the, go past the damage a little bit at the sides of the spokes so that the paint that comes in wraps around. And then we're gonna use a burner to burn the clear in, um, which kind of takes care of that overspray and the hard edge. The hardest part's in these little tight corners, the 90 degree corners, getting in there, making sure you get it scuffed up so that the paint sticks. We are going to use an adhesion promoter too, which you'll see because we're painting bare metal. Um, it struggles to hold on. The other thing you can do on these wheels because they are machined and they're in a straight line is you can actually take a grid of sandpaper and kind of brush it all to make that line in there. Um, sometimes you can get away with it with the scotch Bright pad too. I'll bring the camera up and see if you can see what I'm talking about. Oops. So you can kind of see the scratching in it, which will kind of give it that appearance of, it'll give it the appearance of a machined wheel. 
So we're going to clean this again one more time with Purple Power. And then we're going to use a degreaser, a wax and degreaser to wipe it down. And then we'll pick back up right before we start spraying. All right, so we've got these cardboard cutouts here. They're kind of in a half circle. That's what we use to mask it off. And so we're gonna, you're going to see us. I'm not going to talk anymore, really, but we're going to... I know everyone's clapping. Um, we're going to spray the Ad Pro. Then you'll see us put down some clear coat. And then we're going to come back in with just a little bit of our Hyper Silver to, to blend in these hard lines um, where the machine line was and where it's not anymore. We'll just flick it in there just gently to blend it all in and then we'll re-clear coat over it. So you'll see all that process and then it's just a matter of filling the air back up in the tire, getting the bead to sit back up and getting the car mountain balance. If you have any comments or questions, leave them below. Um, I've been fixing wheels for six years. And we've had maybe two ever come back and that was at the beginning of my, my career. So again, if you have any questions, let me know. Uh, we're going to get these blown off one last time, make sure all the dust is off and get going here. We did our adhesion promoter and then we did our gloss. So now we're going to put in our color to blend the hard line. You can see it right there. All right, I apologize, guys. I think I lost a lot of this video because my memory's full. But um, what we did, and I'll look through, but what we did was we went through and hit it with adhesion promoter, and then we came back and hit it with clear light coat, and then we came in with our hyper silver color to blend in all these hard lines so that they're no longer visible. And now we're going to come back and do a final stage of clear and then burn it in. Get it to uh, kind of melt that clear, the new clear into the old clear. That's all it takes. So we'll let that dry and cure up, and then we'll reinflate the tire. If you can hear me, I'm actually off screen now. We have a total of three wheels to do on this car. Um, it's a wholesale account, so the prices are a little bit cheaper than retail, but if you were to do this for a buddy, you know, you could get anywhere from $75 to $150 a wheel. And the actual time I've spent doing these three wheels is right at an hour right now. So, and that's with messing around with the camera all that stuff so when you're set up somewhere in like a shop or uh, uh, in a shop or like you know we have a mobile trailer um, you can crank these things out pretty quickly so uh, if you have any questions leave uh, a comment below
Uh, make sure to subscribe. We'll be doing some more of these videos. I apologize that I lost most of the content. I don't really do a lot of wheels anymore, but my brother, who works for me, is sick, so I had to crank these out real quick. So, again, um, make sure to subscribe. If you have comments, let me know. I know there's a lot of wheel repair videos out there, but some of them are kind of sketchy as hell. So, we'll catch you on the next one.